Hey guys, welcome to the last video in this letter game development series where we are making a 2D top down space shooter called Space Escape using the Flame Engine. In the last video, we added support for playing background music and sound effects in this game. And we also added two toggles in the settings page using which sound effects and background music can be turned off. With this, our game is almost ready. But if I start the game, you can see that there is no background to our game world. It is just a pitch black color. So instead of having this black color as background, I would like to have some stars to represent outer space. And for that, I'm going to use the parallax component from Flame Engine. Using this component, we can create a moving background with multiple layers of images moving at different speeds. So to use parallax component, I'll first need some background images. I tried finding out good parallax background for space but none of them look good with the rest of the assets of this game. So to keep things simple, I've created two transparent images representing two layers of stars. And as you can see, I have just randomly placed some white pixels in both these layers. And you can find the link to these assets in the description as well as the GitHub repository of this project. So once we have the required image assets inside the assets slash images folder, we can start using them to create a parallax component. First, let's go to the onload method in game.dart file. Here, after creating and adding audio player component to our game, let's create a new variable of type parallax component called stars. Next, to create a parallax component, I'll use the parallax component.load method. This method actually returns a future of parallax component. So I'll have to await for it to complete here. Then, as an input to this load method, we need to pass in a list of parallax data objects. So I'll create a new list here and inside the list, let's create a parallax image data. Parallax image data basically represents a layer of parallax component and it needs a part to an image asset. In my case, this will be stars1.png. Similarly, I'll duplicate this parallax image data one more time and change the image name to stars2.png. And once we have defined all the layers of this parallax component, we can add it to the components list of our game world. If we run this code right now, it will just display a static background. But we actually want it to be moving. And to make it happen, we'll have to provide a velocity to each layer of this component. Before we set the velocity, let's set the repeat property of this component to image repeat dot repeat. This makes sure that if the size of image that we specify is smaller than the size of screen, that image will be repeated on both X and Y direction until it fills the entire screen. Once that is done, I'll set the base velocity to velocity 2 of 0, 50. This means the parallax will be moving vertically. And to actually create the parallax effect, I'll set velocity multiplier delta property to vector 2 of 0, 1.5. This will create a difference in velocities of both the layers of this parallax with a factor of 1.5 along y-axis. And that is it. Now let's build and run this to see how it looks. Ok, and as you can see, now we have a nice moving background in the game world. So that was all for this video and probably this entire series too. As Flame is still in pre-release version, I'll try to keep updating the GitHub repository of this project to the latest version until version 1.0 gets released. But most probably there won't be any future videos for this game. So keep an eye on the GitHub repository if you are watching this series in the future. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this series and were able to follow along. If you did, do hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more such content. I hope to see you in some of my other series.